Hi, you're with Patrick Duff, the injury lawyer, and today's topic of conversation is auto insurance coverage. Uh, so, in Michigan, we have what's called the Auto No Fault Act, and that means that as drivers, our own insurance covers us for uh, collision coverage, for uh, medical treatment if we get injured in an auto accident, and for wage loss if we miss work as a result of an injury arising out of an auto accident. Now, for a long time in this state, we had what's called unlimited medical coverage for um, auto no fault, meaning if you get catastrophically injured in an accident, so long as you're up to date on paying your policy, your insurance carrier will cover the medical costs associated with that catastrophic injury for the remainder of your life. Recently, that law has been changed. You can still choose to pay for unlimited coverage with most insurance carriers. Uh, however, they can offer less and you can pay for less. Uh, and the minimum is $250,000. So what are the ramifications of that? Uh, $250,000 seems like a lot. And if you have a minor injury or even um, you know, a non-catastrophic injury requiring a surgery, maybe it's enough. But for those folks who get majorly injured in auto accidents, uh, it's not enough. And when that limit runs out, there's going to be ramifications. So let's say you get catastrophically hurt and you've got that minimum $250,000 of coverage. Let's say you end up in the hospital for a week. That already gets you into the six figures in terms of medical treatment. Let's say you're inpatient rehab for a while, you blow through that 250K. Well, what do you do next? Hopefully, the person that hit you, uh, assuming the other party was at fault, has some good liability coverage because that's the next place that you're going to look to pay for those medical bills. Uh, if they don't, hopefully you've got a good uninsured motorist uh, policy because uh, that's the next place you're going to look. And then finally, You'll look to private insurance, which is going to involve co-pays and deductibles, and you're going to be out of pocket for a lot of that coverage. And then if, if all else fails, you'll be looking at Medicaid uh, and or Medicare if you're out of work long enough and, and qualify for it. Um, and then the taxpayers are paying your medical bills. So that's what the future looks like under this new Michigan No Fault Act for people carry the, who carry that $250,000 of coverage, and I'm assuming a lot of people will. So what is my advice in terms of protecting yourself? First and foremost, buy unlimited medical for yourself and your family. Uh, if you get catastrophically injured, hopefully you don't, but if you do, it's gonna be well worth it. I also recommend that you get a high liability policy um, because if you hurt somebody else and they've got that minimal medical coverage, they're gonna be looking to you to pay some of those extra medical bills and you don't want to lose your house uh, or any other assets because you bought a low liability policy and you're now paying somebody's medical bills who you hurt in an auto accident. I myself carry a half million dollars. Uh, I feel pretty safe with it, but even that um, can get burned through. So carry that high liability policy, carry a high uninsured motorist policy for yourself. And if you've got the assets, carry an umbrella policy uh, for liability. Uh, they're not that expensive, and you've worked hard to get to where you are in life if you have those sorts of assets, so you ought to protect them. Okay, so that's all for today. Standard disclosure, this is not legal advice, uh, and it, there's no substitute for hiring a good attorney if you're in need of legal counsel. So I hope this was helpful, though. It's a little bit of basic info about the new No Fault Act. Stay healthy out there, stay safe, and take care. Bye.